This is a Jinhao 80 and not a Lamy 2000. Welcome to One More Pen. Today we'll take a closer look at this one. So the Jinhao 80 is obviously a copy of the Lamy 2000 and from outward appearances it does not look bad at all. It looks pretty much like a Lamy 2000 so you know if it accomplishes that then it looks pretty good. But is it any good? Um, what is the build quality of this pen like and is it worth writing with? Does it actually write and what is the writing experience like? So we'll take a closer look at the pen and I'll do a writing sample and talk a little bit more about you know, whether this pen is worth it. I can mention that I got this online for ooh, around $5 US I would say is what I got it for. Um, and that is a fraction of the price of the Lamy 2000. So the question is, is the difference in writing experience as big as the difference in the price between the original Lamy 2000 and this Genau 80? I don't know and I'm not really going to be comparing this pen with the Lamy 2000 because I don't have one. I don't really know what, it's, what it writes like. So I cannot really do a comparison. So I will reference the Lamy 2000 because I know what it looks like, but I will really only be reviewing this pen and talking about whether this pen is worth it. So let's take a closer look and do a writing sample. Let's take a closer look at this pen. Uh, heads up, a little bit of wind noise, but nothing I can do about that. It's just the time of the year. Um, here in South Africa we have just a lot of wind this time so and it's and it's noisy and distracting but we can get past that. So the pen from outward appearances looks a lot like the Lamy 2000 but let me just talk about what I have in front of me. So this is a plastic pen. The texture on the pen looks very similar to the Lamy 2000 and I have to say that it has a very pleasant feel to it. It's, it's a matte finish and you might be able to see sort of the texture in the lines on the pen and it, it's just a very nice feel. Um, I'm actually surprised by how nice this pen feels. It has a little bit of weight to it, not a lot because it's still plastic, but it doesn't feel like cheap plastic. It feels pretty good in the hand. The well, let's look at the top. There's nothing really there, so no finial to speak of. This, um, it looks like this could be, you know, uh, a finial or an insert or something on the cap, but it's really one piece of plastic, and that's just sort of a, a line in the plastic there at the top. At the bottom, we have a metal insert right there, which I think is pretty nice. The clip is brushed metal. It is a spring-loaded clip which is pretty nice. It's it's really firm and I think very functional. It will work very well. I also think it will last. It doesn't feel flimsy or anything like that. I think it's well made. The only criticism I have about this clip is that the edges are really sharp and I feel like they could have put a little bit of effort into just rounding it off slightly. But that's a little bit of an unpleasant edge there. Nothing major, but if I had to critique it, that's one thing that I would say. It's a snap cap and closes pretty, pretty well. The pen has a, what do we call that, kind of a center band which is at first appearances it looks like it's plastic but I think it's actually metal maybe metal yes that feels like metal so we have metal and metal threads and look at that not many pens that you can do that with so very well made I think for how cheap it really is pen comes with a converter now, not a lot of pens come with a converter, and this is something that you really have to credit Janelle for. Um, sending a converter with such a cheap pen is really, it tells you how cheap these things really are. Now, I don't know if 
if I bought a Schaefer converter or a Parker converter, whether it's really better quality, um, maybe, I don't know, but I've never had any of these ones break. I've never had any converter break. And apart from perhaps a little bit of metal here or there on the converter, I, I really don't see how any of the others are better than this one. It holds a decent amount of ink and if, if I bought a converter for Parker, Schaefer, Cross, like I've had to do in the past, the converter alone would cost about three times what the spend cost with a converter. So I don't think converters really uh, need to be that expensive, but anyway. So it closes pretty well, it's pretty tight, no issues there. Does it cap? Um, or post, sorry, does it post before I forget about that? Yes, it posts pretty securely. I think that will work just fine. Um, not that I think that you need to post the spin. I don't think it's necessary at all. But you can if you want to. But it's a pretty nice grip in the hand. Because there's no step from the section to the barrel whatsoever, just like the Lamy 2000, you can grip closer to the nip or further away from the nip. Either way, it'll make no difference. It's just one sort of one section essentially. So that's pretty nice. The nib on this pen is in the style of the Lamy Safari nibs. So this is where one big difference comes in between this pen and the Lamy 2000. The Lamy 2000 has a partially hooded nib where this is the safari style nib. It's branded with Zhenhao and an F4 Fine. Apparently these nibs are inter interchangeable with Lamy nibs. I haven't tested that out, but it seems to be the case and it would be pretty nice because it means I could put any nib essentially on this pen. Um, and I'm thinking that a stub nib, 1.1 stub nib would probably go very nice with this pen. Um, actually, I'm thinking about taking one of the black Lamy nibs and putting it on this pen. I think that would look pretty nice. Uh, almost, almost an all black version thing. So, all in all, just, you know, handling this pen, I have to say it feels pretty well made. There's nothing flimsy, cheap about it. Um, I'm sure the materials used are, are pretty cheap and uh, but it doesn't feel like that. It feels like this pen could compete with many other um, entry level uh, pens easily. Uh, and the big question is just, you know, does it write and is the writing experience good? So I think let's get to that. Let's do a writing sample. For the writing sample, I'll be using my Rodeo dot pad as usual. But before we get into it, I just want to tell you about the ink. This is the one that I'm using. It's Pelican 4001 Dark Green. Um, at first, when I inked the pen up with this, I expected it to be much darker. But I had in mind something like the Diamine um, Green Black. and Or Black Green. I'm not sure which, which way around it goes. But but any case, so this, this is not as dark, but it's still a pretty nice green. And this actually compares very well um, in terms of the color with a green Schaefer ink that I have. But anyway, this is the ink that I'm using. Um, I just love these tiny little bottles. They are really so nice. All right, let's get to the writing sample. So we'll do a writing sample. This is the Zhenhao 80 in a fine. Our ink today Pelican 4001 Talk Green.
it's decently wet i wouldn't say that it's a gusher by any means it's it's certainly not wet you can feel quite a bit of feedback but it's not scratchy either um, so it's it's fairly comfortable now let's just do some writing variation uh, not really you could perhaps get a slightly more ink flow with a little bit of pressure but definitely not line variation and um, I can feel the nib is quite stiff and hard uh, it is a steel nib uh, I wouldn't expect anything else um, so that's actually that's perfectly fine I don't have a problem with that as far as keeping up is concerned I don't think this pen will have a problem keeping up with writing. It actually produces a very consistent line. Um, slight feedback, but not scratchy, not uncomfortable at all. I actually think this is pretty, pretty decent for what this pen cost. Now, I don't even know if I should say this, but I bought this online from a international uh, company um, and ordered it in, uh, I assume from China. And then I saw very recently that this pen is also available locally in South Africa via one of our very popular online retailers. Uh, now I paid a hundred rand for this pen and I see that our online retailer is selling it for 600 Rand. So, wow, that's, that's not nice. That's not nice at all. Um, but anyway, I thought I'd, I would just mention that if you're looking for one of these, and especially if you're in South Africa, order it online from overseas. Don't go the local route because you're going to get exploited. So, my final thoughts on the spin for a hundred rand or five dollars US not taking into account that this is a copy of a Lamy 2000 just talking about the pen that it is it is actually very good value for money the bolt quality is very decent um, apart from the clip that I'm not crazy about the sharp edges it's it's pretty fine the clip works fine it caps perfectly well, uh, very secure. It does post, I wouldn't say it's the most secure post, but it's, it's adequate, it looks good. The nibs, I will test that out, but it appears to be interchangeable with Lamy nibs. So you could essentially put anything on here because there are so many of them available. The grip is perfect. Um, it's a very nice pen for the price. And in fact, I, I made up my mind earlier not to buy a Lamy 2000 because I thought that it's overpriced for you know what it appeared to be but having held this pen felt sort of the texture and a little bit and I know this is I cannot compare this with a Lamy 2000 but it actually makes me wonder uh, whether I would enjoy a Lamy 2000 and I, I think I will reconsider my my position on that so in that sense, I think Jonah actually might have made a sale for Lamy. We'll see. Um, well, these are my thoughts. I, I think this is pretty decent. And um, if you can get a hold of one of these, I think it's very nice to play around with and just to have fun with this pen. It's not so expensive that you're going to be overly cautious with it. So I think it's a, it's a very nice everyday carry knock around pen. Uh, good value for money. So, uh, please uh, like and subscribe. I appreciate your support as always. And I will see you next time. Keep well, everyone.